What's up everybody? This is Sam from CameraLegend.com and today we're going to be talking about a huge titan of a camera legend. A camera that attempted to do something that no other camera had ever tried to do. And a camera that is way cooler than this haircut. It is the Contax AX. The Contax AX was released in 1996 by Kyocera and it is a big bulky ox of a camera. A big brute, a big titan. To me it's a big beautiful beautiful brute. And the reason it's so big is it's because um, inside it has a rather unique ability to autofocus manual focus lenses. Just to show you how big and bulky this thing is, here's the AX uh, right next to an Olympus uh, OMD EM5, the first first version and the AX is really actually huge compared to that I don't know if you could tell from here but it's bulky take a look it's really bulky but if you compare it to uh, cameras of the same era like the um, EOS 1N or the F5 it's not so bad now I've always wondered why they did that and um, I, from what I remember the official line was that they didn't want to ruin the integrity of their Carl Zeiss lenses, uh, blah blah blah. Um, it could be true, but I think that they were actually developing an autofocus system that just wasn't ready, and they were getting some really, really bad competition from Canon and Nikon because around 1996 was was prime time for autofocus. That was Canon with their uh, was that EOS 1N, Nikon with their F5. Everybody was going autofocus, and I personally believe that contacts they just didn't want to lose their you know their base and they wanted to hold them over but that's just my personal opinion i have nothing to validate that but anyway they did come out with their own um autofocus system which is the n system in the early 2000s but unfortunately the company folded right after that so kind of a sad chapter from the shooter's perspective this camera is pure contacts and by that i mean it is ergonomically superb. All the buttons and dials are clearly labeled, so there's not much second guessing. Got your on and off switch right here, AE lock also. Um, the drive, you got your choice of focus modes. This camera has really neat macro mode where you can get really, really close without the use of a dedicated macro lens. Only thing is that it will not autofocus in macro mode. You've got manual focus, single autofocus, continuous autofocus, nice exposure compensation dial right here, large shutter speed dial right here, your modes over here, and you change them by depressing this lock and then moving the switch right here. It's beautiful. This is really a photographer's camera. All right, let's give you guys a little bit of that sexy shutter sound that everybody loves. I've got her on continuous high. And let's see what she sounds like. Woo! Shotgun, baby. Shotgun. Now. Okay, guys. So this camera's claim to fame is its ability to autofocus manual focus lenses. And how does it do that? It okay, as I said, this camera's claim to fame is its ability to autofocus manual focus lenses. And it does that by moving the film plane going to give you guys a demonstration of that in action. Take a look. It's fascinating. Wow. As I said, you know, for 1996, that is a radical, radical idea. Great concept. Great idea. Unfortunately, the execution uh, did not quite live up to the expectations. As I wrote in the article, the autofocus system on this camera is actually uh, very inconsistent. Sometimes they'll work great, sometimes they'll rack back and forth, give up, try again. Um, just so I'm going to show you what I do. It do. I can't guarantee that it will always work because I said this is very inconsistent. But uh, I find that it does work a lot of times. So if you're focusing far away from something far away, put the lens to infinity. And I, you know, press the autofocus right here and it usually... It will get a target if you have 
some kind of pattern to it, like a like a horizontal or vertical line, like a cross. Uh, that helps it to get uh, focus. Now, if you're focusing in a close range, what I recommend is that you're gonna help out the autofocus system by you know manual focusing as close as you can, and then press again the uh, the autofocus button right here. And that usually helps, but as I said, I cannot guarantee that it's going to work because the focusing system on this camera is very inconsistent. Alright guys, that's it for this quick overview of the Contax AX. Uh, if you're looking for one of these, prices are trending between 170 to 250 and they've been pretty steady at that price. It's not a bad price for this very interesting piece of technology. So if you just want to get it for that reason, uh, that should be great. But if you want to get it for the autofocus, I don't really recommend it. But again, as I said, you can use it manual focus. So let me know what you guys think. If you have one of these or if, even if you don't, uh, please uh, comment, like, subscribe for more videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. And until next time, this is Sam from Camera Legend. What the hell happened there? Dot com.